Revelator Aggregator. Uh, we interrupt your regularly scheduled Abyssinia and the Ark programming to bring you my hot take on the Lego movie, the second part, and Apocalypse Berg in particular. I haven't seen the second Lego movie. I don't really care to. I'm basing a lot of this off of what First Lady Aggregator and Aggregator Jr. have told me they went to see it um, and some stuff I've read online. But near Steigentale, based on their take, it's about the rise of the beast system, one world government, and the Antichrist. And honestly, I feel for Aggregator Jr.'s generation. Not him, because he's got a fighting chance, because he's got me and First Lady Aggregator as parents. But most of these kids in his generation don't have a clue, and their parents don't have a clue, and it's just generation after generation of indoctrination and brainwashing through popular culture compounded, and... It's sad, man, because they're hitting these kids with, like, really hard, really intense, really in-your-face programming. This Apocalypse Berg stuff in particular with this second Lego movie, I mean, obviously in pop culture they're pushing this whole Apocalypse thing, Armageddon thing hard right now. And I've told you my theory in earlier videos about how the hoogie boogie illuminated folks that are pretending to be in charge of the world right now are so deceived they think they're going to win so they're trying to provoke divine judgment and bring on the antichrist and the one world government and all that so there's the apocalypse berg part of it and who do they have as the centerpiece of the apocalypse berg lego set sort of a tilted down planet of the apes apollo the sun god in drag Statue of Liberty. Look it up. Do some research and see if I'm not right. Does the Statue of Liberty look feminine? Have you ever thought the Statue of Liberty looks feminine? There's a reason for that. There's also a reason why the poem, The New Colossus, which is based on the Statue of Liberty, dedicated to the Statue of Liberty, and is mounted on a plaque inside the Statue of Liberty's pedestal, there's also a reason why that poem exists and why it's dedicated to the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is meant to be a model for the Colossus of Rhodes, which was the sun god statue as one of the wonders of the ancient world that stood outside the entrance to the harbor at Rhodes. And I'm stealing this idea from Quantum of Conscience YouTube channel. Shout out to Matt. I always like to give credit where credit's due. So this transvestite colossus foolishness that we call the Statue of Liberty is the centerpiece of the Apocalypse Berg Lego set. But then it all hit home for me tonight. Aggregator Jr. had on a pajama shirt that said Apocalypse Berg. From destruction comes construction. This is the Illuminati motto, one of them. Order out of chaos, destroy and rebuild. See, what they want to do is they want to make the situation so horrible and bad that we're forced to, like, they can push us and force us into their one world order and all this nonsense. It's like the warped Hegelian, the warped artificial Hegelian dialectic that we've talked about before that they use where they create a problem to provoke a reaction to force a solution or offer a solution that we never would have wanted to begin with but for the wretched awful problem they created and they're putting this right in their kids faces worse than I've ever seen man so now I'm almost curious to watch this idiotic Lego movie just to see all this mind control programming they got. All this Illuminati, Rise of the Antichrist, hoogie boogie, mind control programming. So pray for the kids, y'all. Father God bless you all. Jesus Christ saves. Stay positive.